Good evening YouTube, this is Dive Fly Fish. This is a small crystal cell that I put together utilizing a dental anesthetic carpule that's been emptied. On the left hand side of the container you can see these little spheres, that's molecular sieve, it's a desiccant. It's a very, very good desiccant. We have one end a copper electrode, on the other end we have a magnesium electrode. On the inside of here we have the contents, which is essentially Epsom salts and zinc oxide as the alternative piezoelectric element versus a Rochelle salt. I also doped it with a little bit of galena. So in any event, you can see in here we have a copper electrode, magnesium electrode. And what I'm going to do is show you the confirmation of the zinc oxide being piezoelectric by hooking up um, the multimeter to it and tapping the contents of this. So with hooking up the negative electrode, we're seeing right around 1.7.12 volts and if I tap this, you will see the voltage increase. So again, you can see the piezoelectric effect. I'm not moving any wires but you can just see the combined effect of tapping the crystalline structure increases the voltage again confirming that the zinc oxide may be in fact a useful adjunct and or alternative to the Rochelle salts so if I stop tapping this carpule you'll see the voltage decrease again but again that's more of just a confirmation that zinc oxide in fact is a very um, relatively decent piezoelectric type of compound that may be beneficial versus a Rochelle salt. So it's worth other people trying to explore this. But this is just my basic test cylinder, again confirming that the zinc oxide does in fact, as when mixed with Epsom salts, act as a piezoelectric adjunct. Have a great night.